you all. Welcome back to Kinder Crafty. Happy almost Easter. Today I'm going to show you how to make a boo-boo bunny. This is basically a little friend that holds an ice cube and you put it on your little one's boo-boo and it seems to cure everything. We used to make these um, for our kindergartners every spring. This is not a Kinder Crafty original. I got this idea from a veteran teacher. She was teaching kindergarten over 35 years and I think she's still teaching. She makes these every Easter for her class. So I got this idea from her, put my own little twist on it because you know how I am and I actually am going to show you a couple of different versions of the Boo Boo Bunny but I always kept one in the fridge in my classroom and you wouldn't believe the ailments that this little thing can cure. I mean, little ones would come in off the playground and you couldn't find a scratch anywhere, but you offer them a boo-boo bunny and all of a sudden everything is better. So I've actually used um, my sons several times because you know when little ones start crawling and running and they're knocking their little heads into everything. Um, and I actually have used his boo-boo bunny when he hit his mouth for the first time and got a bloody lip and the um, washcloth is really great for that because if um, you need ice and you know there's blood then the washcloth will soak up the blood and you can just throw it in the um, wash machine so I hope that you enjoy this I hope you're making lots of fun um, Easter crafts and let's get started Okay, let's get started. You need some washcloths. I have two white washcloths I got at Target. And these are those ice cubes that are in the plastic that you can use over and over again and then they don't melt all over. So I got those at Bed Bath & Beyond. Plastic Easter eggs. Um, you need some white pom-poms. Um, slightly larger than the pink pom-poms. The little pink ones are going to be for the nose. So you want those itty bitty ones and some wiggle eyes. I got all three of those supplies at uh, Michael's Arts and Crafts. And you need some ribbon. The blue ribbon I found at Dollar Tree and the cream ribbon I already had in my supplies. You need some yarn. It could be white thread, just something to tie off your project with. Rubber bands, scissors, of course, craft scissors, and your hot glue gun. Thank you. 
Thanks for watching. See you next time.